welcome to my channel maths mama today we'll discuss the questions like this which is very common in competitive examinations then what is the missing number here to find the solutions of this kind of questions please follow the principle you calculate in this angle or you calculate in these directions you calculate in horizontal or in vertical okay here in the box the bigger numbers are there in this row so it is better to calculate column wise than to row wise so go in column wise so think deeply here is 6 8 and 3 how you will get 51 first you add it reshuffle it ok 6 plus 8 plus 3 this is 51 no so not possible multiply 6 into 8 48 into 3 more than 51 not possible 8 into 3 is 24 plus 6 51 no not possible now see here 6 into 8 plus 3 it is 51 yes it is 51 6 into 8 plus 3 which is equal to 51 whether this condition whether this condition here the 6 into 8 plus 3 this is the condition so apply this condition here whether it is satisfying 15 into 4 it is 60 plus 5 65 so it is 65 here okay so 20 into 5 is the 100 plus 20 120 so the answer is 120 clear that means 6 into 8 plus 3 is the 51 15 into 4 plus 5 is the 65 20 into 5 plus 20 is the 120 is the answer here now in the next questions here is the next questions it is like this here is the question mark so what is the missing number here it is 5 6 12 4 3 4 2 3 missing number 18 27 and 96 is here so what to do look here this is 18 this is 18 so 5 plus 4 is the 9 9 plus 2 is the 11 6 plus 3 is the 9 9 plus 3 is not possible 27 never possible so how will go this is the bigger number here in this row so think in this direction in vertical directions so 5 4 and 2 is available number here and how you can make 18 with this 3 number 5 4 and 2 so 5 plus 4 is equal to 9 9 into 2 is equal to 18 apply here 6 plus 3 is the 9 9 into 3 is the 27 ok then it will follow same same path so here 12 and 4 so 12 plus 4 is the 16 this is 16 here and it is 96 so 16 into 6 is 96 so answer is 6 here this is the answer in this questions what is the missing number here it is 7 to 10 8 1 14 5 3 and what is the missing number here think in horizontal directions or in the vertical directions so it is 10 here 14 here 5 here 3 here so how you can get the missing number ok it is 7 here it is 2 here it is 10 or it is 7 8 and 5 7 8 minus 7 is 1 5 not possible 7 plus 8 is 15 
15 divided by 3 is the 5 so here if we apply 2 plus 1 3 3 divided by 3 is 1 so it is not matching so now think in this direction 7 minus 2 is 5 7 plus 2 is 9 no not possible but 7 minus 2 is 5 7 minus 2 is 5 5 into 2 is 10 7 minus 2 is 5 and 5 into 2 is 10 if we apply here 8 minus 1 is 7 and 7 into 2 is 14 okay it is matching so what I am doing 5 minus 3 is the 2 because 8 minus 1 is the 7 into 2 is the 14 so 5 minus 3 is 2 into 2 is 4 so the answer is 4 here C okay now the next questions this is the question here in, in the circle it is 4 5 66 and this is the missing missing number here so how can we calculate such that we can get the missing number easily in this case always think corner wise always think in corner wise in maximum cases like this when there is four number one two three four and three is there and one number is missing so always think in this direction think corner wise it is 4 and it is here 66 so what to do if it is 4 here it is 66 so we can say uh, 4 cube is equal to is the 64 it is 66 here so 64 plus uh, 2 is equal to 66 so we can say like this it is 4 cube plus 2 if we apply this rule here then this is 5 cube plus 2 is equal to 127 the answer is here is 127 okay this is the rules okay 4 cube plus 2 so 5 cube plus 2 is the answer here 127 the next question here 1 2 3 4 5 so corner rule is not possible so what to do this is some parity is there no 5 10 50 122 some parity is there to find this missing number this is 5 this is 10 this is 50 so um, no if we consider this two number this two number or this two number here no clockwise no anti-clockwise never possible to find it one this is two here no in unit place two here so we have to think in different way this is five think like this this is ten okay five we can say is equal to two square plus 1 this is 4 plus 1 5 this is 10 here 10 we can say this is 3 square plus 1 and uh, this is 50 50 we can say 7 square plus 1 and here 122 122 we can say it is 11 square plus 1 is equal to 122 so this is 2 square plus 1 this is 3 square plus 1 this is 7 square plus 1 and this is 11 square plus 1 so we can say the missing number is like this because this is 2 here 3 here 7 here and 11 here all are prime number 2 3 7 11 and in between 3 and 7 the numbers are 4 in between 3 
in between 3 and 7 the numbers are 4 5 and 6 this 3 is number there in between 3 and 7 4 and 6 is composite number 4 and 6 composite number 5 is the prime number so we write like this 5 is 3 square plus 1 so it is 5 square plus 1 5 square plus 1 is equal to 25 plus 1 26 so this is the answer here 26 is the answer this is 5 this is 10 50 122 we applied this rule 2 square plus 1 3 square plus 1 7 square plus 1 and 11 square plus 1 to get 122 so 2 3 7 11 all are prime because you know 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 all are prime no so in this way 2 3 7 and 11 so the missing number is also the prime number and it should be in between 3 and 7 within 3 and 7 there are 3 number 4 5 6 4 and 6 is the composite number so where for as 4 and 6 composite number so 5 is the prime number so this is 5 square plus 1 is the 26 answer thank you